Good afternoon everybody and welcome to another episode of DNJ Drives. Today is Saturday, the 30th of March 2024 and the time is 12.45 or quarter to one. This tour is being done in response to a request from one of our subscribers who asked us to go to Springer, Springer Gap going up Station Hill. So we are happy to help this Barbadian who lives in London, England relive their childhood experience. So we've started today on Government Hill and we will go up Government Hill a little and then turn at the Springer Memorial Secondary School. It's a girls public secondary school in Barbados and the Barbados education system is co-ed so this school is very special there's one all-girls school Springer Memorial and then um, St. Leonard's is the boys school so this is can you see right this mural here look you can see Springer Memorial Secondary School posted there and we will turn right around so you're on Government Hill and we will turn into the Government Hill Nursery School area or better yet we will go up to the what used to be Cable and Wireless headquarters. I'm not sure if they still have this building on the left. Used to be the headquarters. We're gonna turn in here. And there is a flow outlet in here. We're turning in. But in the old days, this was the main building for Cable and Wireless. That's the flow outlet now. So anybody who is from this area, these buildings are still in their original form. So it gives you a nice idea of what Barbados looks like today. With the same structures that you would have known from your childhood. Today is a rainy day in Barbados which is a welcome relief because the last few days have been sweltering and by surprise even though we are in the midst of the dry season there was rain today so it's overcast there you can see the school building Aaron House here. This is a new building. Aaron Chambers, attorney at law. Um, I think the head there is Devonish. New building. So we will turn around here on Government Hill and head down. Our destination is Springer Gap, but we will still show you a few more things after that. Springer Memorial Secondary School on the left. Enter the school compound and just do a slow turn around so that you can see a bit of it.
and then continue along Government Hill. So we make our way down Government Hill and you can see the lovely trees on the left. This wall on the left moves from Springer Memorial onto State House where the President of Barbados resides. This is the official residence of the President of Barbados. Here's a side entrance to State House. This junction takes you left, straight or right. If you went left, you would navigate towards Belleville. And if you went right, you would get into the Bank Hall area and Eagle Hall. But we are going down Tweed Side Road to make our way up Station Hill at the special request of one of our treasured subscribers. They describe themselves as a Barbadian living in London, England, and asked us to do a tour to their childhood area at Springer Gap going up Station Hill. So this being a Saturday of course you know the usual traffic congestion but it's moving slowly and usually we pause our recordings when we encounter this but we've received feedback from some of our subscribers that we should drive more slowly so we will crawl through Tweed Side Road in Bridgetown, Barbados was I should say St. Michael Barbados this area would be just outside officially Bridgetown and on the right there is the member of parliament for St. Michael South Central Parliamentary representative, that's the constituency office. Of course, these buildings on the right were here for years, but with different occupants, because there was a paint company there. I don't know if they've closed down or relocated. This gas station on the right is a heavily used gas station and getting in and out does cause some traffic buildup. Okay, so if you follow our videos closely, you should remember this roundabout that we're approaching, 
This is the James Tudor Roundabout, just across from the what used to be the Globe Cinema. The building is still there, but the Globe Cinema no longer operates there. Straight ahead, those are the grounds of the Queen Elizabeth Hospital. And we are going around the James Tudor Roundabout. And here we see the Old Globe Cinema building. So we're just going to take this roundabout so that you can get a panoramic view. then back over this bridge to take us around the roundabout again all right so I hope you have your bearings if we went straight ahead that's Roebuck Street and we are taking the roundabout and making the first exit onto Harmony Road another gas station on the left so two gas stations, different brands, just across from each other. And we are now on Harmony Road, making our way to Springer Gap. On the left here though, is the biggest trade union in Barbados. The, this is Solidarity House on the left. The Barbados Workers Union just take you in to get a glimpse of it. Lovely grounds here at the Barbados Workers Union. Springer, so Hugh Springer, former Governor General of Barbados. And we are back on the main road. We are on Harmony Road and we are going to turn off shortly to Springer. So this is turning into Springer Gap and we will make our way very slowly so that the subscriber who requested it would be able to hopefully spot their home. Thank you. 
here we can turn right or left we're gonna turn right firstly some real tight roads in here shop we always talk about the village shops in our videos a big aspect of village life in Barbados and we go back down Springer Gap again to, to turn left this time You can note the difference in architecture in Barbados. You can have wooden houses, wall houses, big houses, small houses, and somehow everyone lives together in harmony. Whether they be rich or poor or somewhere in between. Harmony Road here. So this is Springer Gap on the left. And the following left is a no entry. There's a school down there. We will turn into this road, take you down to the neighborhood. And enter the school from this angle. Hinesbury Primary School is where we are now and we are here to show you the the road that is no entry so if you came through Springer Gap and then turned right you would then we just turned up that road to go back to Harmony Road but this gate here is closed so we couldn't enter this school from that gate so I just um, came around to show you and as a benefit of that you get to see these school grounds the Hinesbury Primary School So our subscriber who grew up in this area, hopefully this drive gives you a nice journey down childhood. We'll continue on this road and then come back around. small tiny roads narrow roads very modest houses and notice how clear everything is granted it's raining but peaceful
okay so we're gonna continue on we've come through here before and hopefully this drive through gave our subscriber the information that they wanted so we back on to I just saw a sign on the side that that was Greenwich Tenantry that we drove through but we continue on Harmony Road until we encounter the traffic light that stops us from going on that main road that takes us all the way down to Bank Hall and then Eagle Hall this road is called Bridge Road that's going across there. So we are just waiting to continue to go up to Station Hill. Okay, so this is Bridge Road going from left to right. But we are continuing on up to Station Hill. So this is Station Hill. legendary fish cakes set up over there that's the name of it hot legendary fish cakes you get some really really juicy fish cakes at that vendor and they have actually spread their wings and have branches one in oysters and one in um, Jackson I believe and I'm not sure where else so this is Station Hill certain how it got that name but there is a police station um, I believe it's district A police station further up and shortly you will see a right turn to the old Glendary prison which had a fire many years ago but the prison was relocated to Dodds in St. Philip but the Glendary prison building is still there. That's the entrance there. We're just going to turn in and out just for our subscribers, Barbadians living overseas. That's it ahead of you. One side of the Glendary prison. When my son and I started this channel, we didn't expect to get such positive feedback and to get so many subscribers so soon. And it's growing nicely and we really appreciate the support and the fact that one of our subscribers made this request, um, gave us the motivation to continue. So our aim on this channel is to showcase driving in Barbados, show the road network and places of interest. So we are back on Station Hill. That was just a little detour to show the old Glendary prison. Continuing up Station Hill. And if you've been following our drives, I'm sure you know what we're about to do. There's a lot of traffic congestion today. We will enter the police station. The 
District A police station, I was right. Sometimes I know places generally, but I get the names mixed up. So I didn't grow up here, but I live and work here. And I've learned a bit of the road network, so I'm happy to, to share. Anyone planning a trip to Barbados as a vacation or Barbadians living overseas who want to come back home and want to have an idea of what to do or where to go, you can follow this channel, DNJ Drives. It's a father-son duo. My son designs the, the routes and he does all things technical but it doesn't say very much. But he's right here with me co-piloting everything that you are seeing right now. come this far without driving through Combermere School. The Combermere School just won the Barbados Secondary Sports Competition, BSAC, and they won both the girls and the boys divisions or competitions, so they're on a high now. Combermereans are very, very proud people so we turn off and this area is called Waterford so you go from Station Hill to Waterford Road and this is Waterford and we enter the Combermere School one of the older secondary schools in Barbados that set ahead of you. So we just had to get authorization from the security to continue. This is Combermere School. It's the grounds buildings down to the back where they teach I would assume various sciences and so on arts those buildings down in there from what I understand they teach technical drawing or art or different things in those buildings you can see the perimeter to the grounds there all around there. This is the Combermere School and I gather their, their logo or their motto is up and on because every time Combermereans speak with each other they keep talking about up and on, up and on. So I have no idea what it means but I live and work among them and I hear it all the time. So this is on the other playing field. There's a pavilion down there. That's the Combermere School. Right ahead of us is the recently repurposed or refurbished, I'm not sure which, botanical gardens. It's the new spot for all the fets and various events in Barbados. Very, very um, 
beautiful for lovers of nature there are trees out there and they, they've expanded it and cleaned it up so tend to get a prop over time many many vents in there lots of fetting and birthday parties and picnics and it's a vast area very very wide and a green a green area so we're in Waterfoot again and we are heading back to that road that was Station Hill and then continues up to Waterfoot. It becomes Waterfoot Road. So ahead you can see cars going right and going left as we will. The ones going right will go on to Station Hill and the ones going left are on Waterford Road. So this is Waterford Road and to the left you can see the Botanical Gardens. That's the name of it. Botanical Gardens and this is Waterford Road and I've heard people refer to it as Waterford Bottom so I'm not sure if that's because it's on the other end from the top but there are some peculiar areas in Barbados with names like that you can see let me turn in here so you can see the National Botanical Gardens there's a sign right ahead of you And it's under the control of the Ministry of Environment and Natural National Beautification. And there's still a lot of green across the road here, Waterford Road. We will just take a little nip. So that you can see the road and then turn around so you can see how beautiful this area is with these trees and green or some semblance of green because during these times with all of the heat and limited rain things turn a bit brown so we continue up Waterford Road. And if you can see ahead on the right, there's a massive project happening there. That's going to be the, if I'm not mistaken, the new location for the geriatric hospital which is currently down yes geriatric hospital Waterford St. Michael which is currently uh, I can't remember the name of the road where it's located close to the government headquarters and close to the Bayview hospital I want to think that is Beckles Road, but I, I'm not certain. But in any event, the Geriatric Hospital, which is a well-known institution in Barbados, is being relocated to this large structure that you see happening here or being constructed. as we take the roundabout up there which is the Clyde Walcott roundabout this would be a timely spot to conclude today's tour but we will make our way around the roundabout just so that you can get a a shot of the construction there's nowhere to enter 
it's all gated and the gates are closed this is the long Easter weekend tomorrow is Easter Sunday so I guess everyone is oh and what a surprise for us the Clyde Walcott roundabout has been re-signed this is we have just discovered this with you while doing this this drive so you've just made a discovery with us um, if you followed our video on the roundabouts along the ABC highway you will note where we made a big point about the Clyde Walcott roundabout not being properly identifiable because the signs faded not not well branded at all except for the the financial institution that maintains it but the signs are the responsibility of the Ministry of Transport and Public Works and I actually called through to the the officer who's responsible for the signage and he did tell me that they were hoping to get it done shortly it's been a major problem for a number of years we are very happy to see this sign, Clyde Walcott Roundabout, bringing the honor to Sir Clyde for his contribution to cricket and to the building of a national conscious consciousness for Barbadians all across the world. So happy to see that and that's the building going up there. That's Waterford Road. This takes you to Warrens. This takes you to Hothersill. And I mentioned in another video that this roundabout is sometimes known as the Hothersill Roundabout. So there you have it. Conclusion of today's drive covering Springer Gap, Combermere School, Springer Memorial School, and a few other areas of interest. We're signing off. It's now 1.24 in Barbados on the 30th of March 2024 saying goodbye from D and G with a special request that you like this video and you share it please share it to any Barbadians overseas who may be missing home anyone you know who wants to visit Barbados on vacation please share the video and please remember to subscribe to our channel because we want to build this community of viewers who are interested in Barbados and seeing different areas in Barbados. Thank you for your attention and have a great day.